the standard of the Internet of Value. Global liquidity to any market, any country, any place, anywhere. Fully exchangeable to any currency, asset, or commodity. Transactions are settled in four seconds. XRP is traded 24-7, 365 days a year, everywhere in the world. Removing friction from global trade, removing barriers, removing borders. XRP transfers value anytime and all the time. From you to any place on Earth. There is a potential that the completion of the lawsuit against XRP this month might either result in a staggering jump to all-time highs or a significant price decrease. Both of these outcomes are possible. Even though it has had recent declines, XRP has witnessed good court decisions and hopeful technical indications, which indicate that there is a chance for it to have upward momentum. XRP may provide a buying opportunity if it reaches oversold conditions, according to the One Day Relative Strength Index, even though there is still a possibility of a short-term decline. At present, the cryptocurrency Ripple is at the center of public attention because Ripple's dispute with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission is getting closer and closer to being resolved. There will be severe ramifications for the family's financial situation as a result of the case, which might be settled as soon as this month may come to an end. In a video that was released to YouTube by the analytics company Discover Crypto, it was said that Ripple is pushing for a far less severe penalty, while the Securities and Exchange Commission is requesting billions of dollars in fines. The decision may have a significant influence on the performance of the XRP market, which may result in either a significant reduction in price or a spectacular surge to all-time highs that have been attained in the past. Both of these outcomes are possible as a result of the fact that several experts like Fred Razzoli have forecast that the issue would be addressed by the 13th or 31st of July. Traders and investors have shown interest in the situation. Specific respect to the identification of Binance's BNB currencies as non-S. Uh, there have been recent court rulings that have been positive for Ripple. These opinions have been favorable. The subject of Ripple's XRP lawsuit, uh, will recent court wins drive a price surge? Is one that could be of interest to you. It has come to the attention of the securities and exchange commission that Ripple has been criticized for its comments about the Binance issue. And these remarks have the potential to be beneficial to Ripple's case against the Securities and Exchange Commission. Over the last several months, Ripple has been concentrating its efforts on the Binance case to combat the implementation of the SEC's strategy of regulation by enforcement to control cryptocurrencies. Through the implementation of this measure, Ripple has brought to light the reality that the regulatory environment is characterized by a lack of transparency. Uh, the ruling from Binance, which said that the fair notice argument does not offer a defense against responsibility, was not submitted by Ripple, which was a critical portion of the judgment. Um, an error was made by Ripple when it failed to disclose this particular aspect of the verdict, uh, because Ripple failed to take advantage of the chance to incorporate this particular piece of the verdict. The Securities and Exchange Commission took the position that the finding from Binance was irrelevant to the continuing action that was being brought against Ripple. The Securities and Exchange Commission also brought attention to the fact that the cryptocurrency sector had been informed of regulatory expectations in the 2017D report which was issued before the majority of Ripple's XRP sales, this development was brought to the notice of the public. This was done to guarantee that the industry was by the provisions of the legislation. Ripple was informed by the Securities and Exchange Commission that the business had been offered legal counsel on possible issues with its sales. Uh, this information was brought to Ripple's notice. The fact that Ripple was aware of the risk of uh, violating law enforcement was indicated by this particular fact. Ripple has recommended that the, the Securities and Exchange Commission decide to impose a penalty that does not exceed $10 million as part of its answer to the SEC's petition for remedies. On the other hand, the Securities and Exchange Commission has proposed that Ripple be liable to a um, fine that is equivalent to $2 billion. It was revealed by Judge Amy Berman Jackson that the decision that was made regarding the programmatic sales of XRP was discussed. Here's a mention of the verdict that she made. She said that 
She agreed with the method that was used by the Ripple Labs court during the whole of the proceedings against her. Uh, since more than three and a half years ago, Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission have been involved in a legal war. This conflict has been going on for a considerable amount of time. Over time, this disagreement has the potential to become far more contentious than it is now. Even though some players in the sector laugh at the notion that the lawsuit may take many more years to eventually be decided, a uh, substantial number of persons in the industry are of the view that the result may be right around the corner. An attorney from the United States called Fred Rizzoli has proposed that the four to be reached determines the outcome of the case. However, any expenditures that are associated with motivation would not be included in the penalty that would be imposed on the firm as a result of this finding. The penalty would be in the amount of somewhat more than $25 million, there is a high probability that the outcome of the dispute will have a major influence on the quantity of XRP that is now available for purchase. Having said that, uh, a resounding win for Ripple could start a bull run, not just for the asset itself, but also for the cryptocurrency market as a whole. This has the potential to be a significant catalyst for the market. Ripple has been the subject of criticism from the United States Securities and exchange commission about how it responded to a notification of additional authority that was provided by the defendant by the defendant on behalf of the defendant. Ripple referenced a recent ruling that was handed down by Binance Corporation to provide evidence in favor of its assertion that the SEC's policy of regulating via enforcement is inadequate after an effort was made to include the Binance case in the ongoing discussion over possible remedies. The Securities and Exchange Commission issued a rejection in response to the attempt. The Securities and Exchange Commission contested Binance's ruling, which rejected the assumption that the fair notice theory may serve as a defense against liability. The SEC said that Ripple neglected to give a significant component of the decision, which was the basis for the SEC's appeal. The judgment made by Binance was contested by the CCC because it felt Ripple had failed to disclose the essential component. Furthermore, the Securities and Exchange Commission said that the agency had given a warning to the cryptocurrency business in 2017 via the release of a report. Furthermore, the SEC stated that the warning was sent in 2017. Before the majority of Ripple's XRP sales, this message was sent to anyone who may be interested in purchasing it. But on top of that, Ripple's legal professionals have provided the company with information on the possible legal issues that may be encountered as a result of transactions of this sort. Uh, a request for remedies was presented by the corporation in April. In the request, the company stated that the amount of the civil penalty should not be more than $10 million. By the prior position taken by the State Securities and Exchange Commission, Ripple was compelled to make a total payment of $2 billion in the most current fundamental documents that Ripple has submitted. Favors, uh, the company has referred to the verdict that Judge Amy Berman Jackson handed down in favor of Binance, uh, according to Judge Jackson. It is feasible that digital assets like XRP will not be able to be categorized within the scope of the securities rule that is now in existence. And this is something that Judge Jackson will allow to happen. Regarding Ripple, the fact that the court has decided that certain of Ripple's sales represent a breach of severe responsibility does not indicate a reckless disregard for the law or call for harsh repercussions. This is because Ripple is not responsible for the violation of strict responsibility, in the time leading up to that interpretation, there was a lack of clarification on the regulatory requirements, which lends support to this viewpoint. 